In this video, we're going to be rearranging more equations, again, making x the subject of them. So if I look at my first one, I've got y equals x squared plus t. Now, I want to get x on its own. So the first thing I need to get rid of is my plus t. I get rid of plus t by subtracting t. And I do that from both sides. So on this side, I'm going to have y minus t. And that's going to equal x squared because x squared plus t minus t is just x squared. Next step, I am currently squaring x. So I've got x squared. I need to do the inverse of square. So that is square root. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So it's going to be the square root of y minus t, which equals, and then the square root of x squared is just going to be x because the squared square and square root cancel out. Now, if you think about having x squared equals 9 and then take the square root of both sides, you would end up with x equals positive 3 or negative 3, not just 3. So we need to make sure we remember to put plus and a minus there because then we take both the positive and negative solutions. And now we like our x to be on the other side. So we're going to just rewrite it exactly as it is up here. So x equals positive and negative square root of y minus t. And that's our first solution. Now, if we look at this example, we've got y equals the square root of x divided by 2g. So I want to get my x on its own, but I currently am dividing by 2g and then square rooting. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of my square root. So how do I get rid of square root? Well, I'm going to square both sides. Put my little two in brackets. So on this side, we're going to have y squared. And the square root of x over 2g squared is just going to be x over 2g. And now I want to get rid of my 2g, so I get my x on its own. And because I'm dividing by it at the moment, I'm going to multiply by 2g. Multiply by 2g on both sides. So I end up with 2g times y squared equals x. And as I said, we like our x on the other side, so I'm literally going to rewrite it to me x equals 2gy squared. And that's the solution when that equation is rearranged. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. Mm -hmm. 